per mem members of a swimming club in categories. Why is worth not putting a total in? Uh, that would be 123. That would be 130. And can't work on the next bit. Five eighths of the members are children. So that tells me that N over the total number of females, um, which is 45 plus N, that fraction is 5 eighths. Times everything through by the 45 plus N, times everything through by 8, that gives me 8N is 5 lots of 45 plus N. That's 5N, take away 3Ns are 545s, 225. So n equals 75. So that's 75. So that would be 120. That would be 250. That will be 127. Don't know if I need it. Find the probability that a member chosen at random is either a female or a child or both. Well, that basically means it's not a male adult. So I would say probability female. Or child or both equals one minus probability of adult male which is one minus uh, that'd be 78 well, I did need to work all that out of 250 and that is 172 out of 250 or if I want to cancel that down 86 over 125 so that bit done Part three. Okay, we've got a different thing. This is an athletics club that was swimming at the top. It's athletics here. I'm still going to put down my total. Uh, that's 10, that's 15, 25, that's 11, 14, 25. Good. Um, I've got five probably one of these, not two members are chosen at random for a photograph. Find probably one of these members is a female child and the other is an adult male well, there's lots of ways, different ways of doing this but I'm going to I'm going to use a tree diagram okay, and that will explain what I'm doing it takes quite a long time to do a tree diagram because I've got lots of different possibilities I've got adult male I've got adult female I've got child male I've got child female so I'm going to draw the tree diagram to be quite big and I have going up like so Four things. The reason I'm doing it is actually it's going to help me work out the uh, part B as well. But I'm not sure I would do this in the exam. So the first child, the first person chosen for the photograph could be an adult male, could be adult female, could be child male, or could be child female. And then I could get exactly the same thing again. So adult male, adult female, child male, child female. So each branch has got to have four things going off it. I'm trying to get two going up and two going down so I can sort of identify which one's which better. So two going up and two going down. And I'm going to use the same coding. So the top one's adult male and adult female, then child male and child female. But I'm not going to put everything in there because I don't need everything in there. So probably adult male will be 6 out of 25 to start with. And probably adult male, the second one, will obviously be 5 out of 24. Because one adult male would have been chosen and so on. Adult female will be 4 out of 25. And child male will be 5 out of 25. And child female will be 10 out of 25. And child female down here will be 9 out of 25. 24 and now I just have to work out what I'm going to try and do so I want to have a probably one of these is a female child so that's the bottom root here or the bottom of the second one and the other is an adult male so I've got adult male and child female or child female and adult male this child female would be 10 out of 24 because I didn't choose a, a child to start with and here I still got six adult males left having chosen a female child and that's out of 24 so if I do that I'm going to get 6 out of 25 times by 10 out of 24 and this will actually be the same it will actually be 10 out of 25 
times by 6 out of 24. Either way, both of them will come to uh, 60 out of uh, 600. Well, that also equals 60 out of 600. And so the probability uh, of female child and um, adult male equals uh, those added together 120 out of 600 which actually is the same as one fifth so it does the first part that's a and now i'm doing red b which is the probability of exactly one of these is a female and exactly one is a child so one female and one child and again my tree diagram will probably help that we could have the adult male and a female child or we can have adult female in which case the other one is going to have to be a child male it's the third one down or we can have child male and adult female because it doesn't matter we have them either way around and finally we can have instead of having adult male followed by child female we can have child female followed by adult male and then work out those and I've actually already worked out a couple of them. This first one, this one here, would be 4 over 25 times by, and that one would be, there's 5 on there, 5 out of 24. So times that 5 out of 24, and that will be 20 over 600. And this one obviously will be 5 out of 25 times by 4 out of 24. And that also equals 20 out of 600. And so if I then add these all up i'll get 60 120 and 160 that's 160 out of 600 and that is the same as four fifteenths and that's done now of course you could do the calculations differently or just write down for example here you could write down adult male and uh, child female and then times that by two and then you can work out um, adult female and child male and times that one by two so there's other ways of doing it but the tree diagonal hopefully explains exactly what's going on and that's question seven done